together for Mr. Mike Kaiser. Hey everybody, thanks for coming. Uh, I'm gonna start out tonight by telling you about this coffee shop near my house. It closed for a couple months for renovations. But they had this sign outside the whole time that said, coming soon, so that you knew they'd be back, you know? But after a while I started to think, this is kind of disingenuous. Because when I say I'm coming soon, I mean like right then. <laughs> uh, in fact, I may have already started. I just didn't want to give you a chance to get out of the way. Like Marshall said, I'm a student. I spend a lot of time in coffee shops. Uh, I like Starbucks. I know some people don't like Starbucks. I think you should go to these local indie coffee shops. But I don't tend to like the hipster baristas that work at those places. I used to go to this place where they were actually raising money to send their employees to the World Barista Championships. But when they got there, it turns out the whole thing was a trick being played on them by their parents. And it was a job fair. <laughs> I'm a student, I work at a library. I was going through some old uh, newspaper and magazine articles the other day from the 80s. Came across an article about Sirhan Sirhan. He's the guy who killed Robert F. Kennedy in 1968. The reason why there was an article about him in the 80s was that he did an interview where he confessed to having been drunk when he killed RFK. Can you imagine getting up after a long night of drinking? Being like, oh God, what did I do last night? Oh my god, did I kill a Kennedy last night? <laughs> you know what, I don't think I closed out my bar tab either. Uh, I need a Gatorade and a lawyer. <laughs> I was at a party last week and I got into a conversation with this guy who told me he went to a really liberal college where you could make up your own major. He told me that he was a Jedi major. And then he tried to tell me more about it, but I couldn't hear him over the sound of every girl in the room's vagina snapping shut. It was like a cacophony of vaginal drawbridges raising. Despite pretty much everything I've said up here so far, I actually have a girlfriend. Uh, she's Indian, she's very beautiful. Uh, we have, you know, our problems, like any couple would. Uh, one of them is that when we're being intimate with one another, she likes to say stuff to me. But the problem is I can never hear her. But I've got to find out what she said, because there's a chance that she just suggested something awesome. You know, something I totally want to do. But i got to find out kind of sexy so I don't ruin the mood, you know? So she'll be like, Mike, uh, take off your pants. And i got to be like, <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> and like I said, my girlfriend's Indian, and she actually comes from a very uh, conservative immigrant family, and she's expected to get an arranged marriage. We've been dating for a while, and at this point I'm sort of banking on the outside chance that it gets arranged to me. Um, it's not very likely, but if it did happen, I'd have to have kind of an awkward conversation with her parents, because they'd have to ask me, you know, Mike, what caste are you? I'd be like, well, I mean, I'm white, as you can plainly see. So, like, whatever the top one is, um, I guess I'm, like, right above that somewhere. I don't know. You're the one so into social hierarchy. I just calls it like a sees it. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll leave you with this one. I, uh, I'm a student now, but I used to be a teacher. This was a couple years ago, and it was really cool for everyone to say, holla. And my students would say it all the time. It was really disruptive. So I had to come up with a plan to stop them from saying it. I always found it worked best if I made it cost them something. So I come up with this plan where if they said holla, they owed me a quarter. If they didn't have a quarter, I took one of their shoes, put it in the back of the room, then they had to come deal with me when class ended. Naturally, I call this policy the holla cost. <laughs> it's logical, right? 
it worked great. Uh, and so one day my principal poked her head in the door and saw this big pile of shoes in the back of the room <laughs> with a banner that read, The Holocaust, this classroom's final solution. I appreciate you guys sticking with me on that one. Uh, I told that joke last weekend, and this girl came up to me after the show and was like, I was really offended by what you said. I was like, what do you mean? She goes, the Holocaust joke? And I didn't know what to say, so I just denied that it ever happened. <laughs> All right, my name is Mike Kaiser.